The origin of species remains what Darwin called the mystery of mysteries. And just like Darwin did, we still turn to islands today to learn about the evolutionary process of species formation. In the southern Indian Ocean, the islands of Reunion and Mauritius are home to the masquerine grey white eye, a small bird that has a lot to teach us about evolution. The species on Mauritius shows a single plumage type, yet on the island of Reunion, Zosteros borbonicus shows four distinct plumage color forms in different parts of the island. There is a fully brown form on the west, a fully grey form in the highlands, a grey-headed brown form on the east, and a grey-headed form with a brown nape in the south. Surprisingly for a flying bird, the different forms are kept separate by very concrete geographic barriers. The Galets River, the Saint-Étienne River, and a massive lava flow in the southeast, where the Piton de la Fournaise volcano spills its lava into the ocean to this day. So we must ask, how did these closely related but distinct forms come about? What prevents them from mixing into just one? Are these different forms in the process of becoming new species? And what are the evolutionary mechanisms at work? At just 50 kilometers long and about 2,500 square kilometers, Reunion has two major volcanoes, a dramatic topography and a stunning diversity of habitat types. From dry savannas in the western lowlands, to the rainforests of the south, and the lush cloud forest and moist scrub of the highlands. The grey white eye is found in all these habitats, providing us the opportunity to investigate how natural selection can split up an ancestral stock into multiple distinct forms. A research group has been conducting expeditions throughout Reunion Island to study different white eye populations. We traveled to selected sampling sites across mountain ranges, across major rivers and lava flows, and also along steep ecological gradients and ecotones among habitat types. Sampling localities are sometimes in remote, difficult to reach areas, but geographic sampling is a central part of the project as wide eye populations vary widely across very small spatial scales. At each sampling locality, we set up mist nets made of fine nylon mesh and gently capture the birds. We extract the birds from the nets and take them to a central processing site. There, we mark each individual with a metal ring that will help us identify it in the future. We then record data on condition, mold, weight, and morphological measurements. We collect a blood sample for genetic analysis some feathers for measuring color, and we take several voucher photographs of each individual. Back in the lab, we run genetic analysis to determine the level of genetic differentiation among populations. So far, we have found that natural selection seems to play a major role in the divergence of highland populations, where sexual selection and geographic barriers could be more important in the lowlands. We're also investigating the genetic basis of color differences and how they evolved in different parts of the island. Results from this project are helping us understand how species form and what are the relative roles of geography and natural selection in generating biodiversity. We're also collecting important data on the population status of this and other valuable island endemics to help ensure the long-term preservation of the unique insular biodiversity of the mascarines. There are very few places in the world where one can get such privileged insight into the workings of evolution, and Reunion is the ultimate natural laboratory for studying the origin of species. Indeed, the grey white eyes may well be the Indian Ocean version of Darwin's finches. So stay tuned. <laughs>